Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the forehand. And I want to talk to you about a very simple motion and a very simple technique that will allow you to generate huge power from your body. You'll hit cleaner, harder, and faster today. Now, most of you familiar with either this channel or other tennis coaching channels will know that the movement of the forehand, the kinetic chain of the forehand, is body, arm, racket, and then racket, arm, body. So we begin with the body rotating, and then the arm follows, and then the racket, and then around about contact, the racket accelerates past, overtaking everything, pulling the arm, and finishing the movement with the body. So body, arm, racket, racket, arm, body. But we can do that passively, or we can do that with phenomenal energy. And to do it with phenomenal energy, we need to use the pectoral muscles and the deltoid to their maximum advantage. And to help you achieve this, I want you to think about the chest expander in the forehand. You see, I take the racket back, I'm in my neutral position here, and I can just pull this hand across, and I've moved the hand across using the arm. And now I'm ready to swing through, rotating the body and making my forehand stroke. But what about instead of pulling this hand across, if I had a chest expander here and I separate the chest expander? Now, if I try to separate the chest expander using my arms, I'm not going to get very far. The way we use the chest expander is to use the chest to broaden, and I can feel my shoulders and my pectoral muscles all really engaged in that motion. When you look at pro players preparing on the forehand, you see a very flexed and defined muscular physique. You don't see a relaxed position. And then you hear the exhale as they really drive all that energy out into the ball. Your forehand should be the same. So when you go into the first phase of the take back and have the racket prepared here, then as you open the chest and begin the rotation of the body, imagine that you have a chest expander between the two hands here. And now I expand the chest. See, I expand and contract. Again, I expand and I contract. This is using the big muscles, the large muscles of the body, to their maximum potential. The way that muscles work is called a stretch shortening cycle. They're strong when they're short and they're weak when they're stretched. But they have elastic energy. So the faster that you stretch and shorten, the more energy you will generate. It's a kind of elastic motion. So we make the stroke and this is the power supply. We're in position here. And now put this hand to the left side of the body by using the chest to place it there. I place it there with the hand. I place it there with the chest. And then I swing. By using the chest in this way, you'll get more power without having to swing faster. Swinging faster is great, but it means we get more miss hits and it means we don't hit the middle of the racket quite as often. But by using the body efficiently in this way, by using the power supply of the big muscles and the torso, then you'll get more power without swinging faster. You won't have more miss hits. You'll still have good timing. You'll still have clean hitting, but you'll simply have a faster and heavier topspin ball today. I hope this makes sense. Love to know how it works with the players that you work with. And if you like our ideas, have a look at what we can do with online coaching. The information's in the website below, or you can email us for details, or have a look at our number one bestseller, The One Minute Tennis Forehand Solution. Here we give you detailed information of the biomechanics of the stroke, and then super simple solutions of how to apply those movements and techniques into your game immediately. So for more power in your forehand, remember, use the chest expander. You can't open a chest expander with your arms. You have to use the torso. You have to use the big muscles. It's the same in your forehand. If you want to have a truly great forehand, then you've got to use the big muscles of the body in the correct sequential order. Using the chest expander idea as a power supply is a great way of you adding speed to your forehand. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.